guys, welcome back to Let's Grow Together. Uh, so, the last time we met, we were trying to grow ghost chilies. So today, on this series, I suppose, uh, we're going to try to grow Carolina Reapers. And I have in my hand, as you can see, the seeds. Um, I'm not going, I'm just going to plant them into this planter. I'm not going to plant them in the little, little thing that they came with. Um, so, I'm just going to make some holes here and that might be a little deep but I don't know um, and then I'm going to pause and I'm going to fill this up with water and I'm going to transfer it over to the sun and uh, we're going to hopefully let these grow and uh, it is really hot outside Carolina Reapers require at least above 100 degrees to grow optimally uh, so there we go. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to get some water. And we're going to put it up where the sun is. And that will be pretty dang awesome. And we'll hopefully let these things grow. We'll be right back. The problem is, um, so I have the water. There's no real watering instructions for these things, which is kind of a bummer. It makes it fairly hard to um, know just how much liquid these things actually need. I'm going to, since it is so hot, and I predict that uh, this will dry out. Basically, it needs like an overnight temperature of 80 or 90 for optimal growth. And it's now leaking out. Um, So this means that it's reached the bottom. I am using my rice cooker pan, so I don't have a water pot. I can smell the earth. So that's as wet as it's going to be. I can actually see the seeds, so I'm just going to cover that up. There you go. Just make sure that it's all covered with dirt, so that. All right. Uh, so, I'm going to go wash this, and I think that's that. I'm going to move this off to the sun, and uh, we'll be back when it starts growing. I'm going to check every day and give it a little bit of water every single day, and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go, guys. Thanks for watching. 